Yeah. If we can answer your question, we'd be glad to. We can try to direct you to the right place. Okay. Okay. Or if, if somebody's that interested, we take their number. We knock on their. We come to their home if they want. You know, okay. Uh, okay. Just another avenue. That's cool. I just want to make sure that's what y'all yeah. y'all was here for. Because I had a question. I was on. Uh, so, correct me if I'm wrong. It's the Watchtower where you can go to find out about Jehovah Witnesses beliefs and doctrine. JW.org. Uh huh. That's it. Yeah. So I'm saying the Watchtower though. Is the Watchtower is just one of our tools. That's a that's a magazine. Yeah. It's been around since the late 1800s. Yeah. When and the exception of the religion, see, right? See that one laying? Uh, well, they're all here. But JW.org. Okay, I got you. Every Watchtower since 18. 86 water announcing Jehovah's Kingdom. That's what the Watchtower has always done. Okay. So, uh, I, just so I know, because I was on there, I was just looking through some things. Mm -hmm. uh, I was looking through the magazine because I was, I wanted to know about the history of the Jehovah's Witnesses because mm -hmm. I see y'all out here all the time. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to understand the Jehovah's I have family that are Jehovah's Witnesses. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? So, yeah. Uh, yeah. My auntie, she's a part of Kingdom Hall on, uh, I think it's Glass Street. Yeah, or, uh, yeah, no, Iris. Iris who? Lounge. Lounge? Uh -huh. yeah. Campbell, yeah, that was my my grandmother. Yeah, that's my auntie. So. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I got family that's all witnesses. So I wanted to I wanted to inquire about. Go okay, ahead, brother. You, okay, your mom is which one? Iris. Iris, that's my auntie. Yeah, Iris. And she's my great aunt. Correct. She was my grandmother's sister. Your grandmother's sister. Betty. Okay. Betty's your price is my grandmother. Betty. Betty. That's my grandmother. Betty was your okay. Yeah, that's my grandma. Really? Yeah. And I, was, I knew your dad too, did yeah. your grandfather, did, I guess. Did. Anthony. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my grandfather. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, small world, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? I'm trying to get out. I'm trying <laughs> yeah. to unwind. My mother, her name is uh, Sherilyn. She's not She's not in the Kingdom Hall, but my mother's name is Sherilyn. Okay. Was that Betty's sister? No. Uh, Betty is my grandmother on my father's side. My father's name is Marcus. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So my, my grandmother, Betty, she's on my uh, father's side, not my mother's side. Okay. So okay. they they were Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay. My yeah. grandmother, uh, my great grandmother, and my auntie. Now they all okay. Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they're part of Kingdom Hall. And Charlie's at our home. Yeah, I know. So they, hey, yeah, they've been Jehovah's Witnesses since oh, yeah. forever. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can so you, you can take that card and scan it. And when you get to the website, you can type in under the search "History of Jehovah's Witnesses." Uh huh. And it'll take you to several articles. Walk you right through it. Gotcha. I appreciate you for that for that information. So. I had a question about something I found on the website, right? So uh, when I went to the, because the Jehovah's Witnesses was created by who? Charles Russell? Charles Taze Russell? Well, he was very instrumental in, in starting. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. was, I mean, was he the founder or no? Uh, he was referred to, he referred to himself as a Bible student, basically, is what he referred to himself. Okay. And he be, he began as a group of, of other other individuals who were also searching. Yeah. And, uh, he was just very instrumental because he had, he had some, he had some, uh, Financial assistance he was able to help the organization start with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I mean that's just what I was researching. I found mm -hmm. that I mean I guess that's who they attributed the creation of the religion to is Charles Russell. So that's why I was just asking. I I mean you can well get some insight to that. It's not it's not a man. Um, he was a man just like me and you are. Right. Imperfect man. But he was also something else. He was somebody who was searching. Right. Searching yeah. for the scriptures. Uh huh. And, okay, and he wasn't satisfied with what he was hearing in most religions, so he started searching himself. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you figure from the time from the time Jesus left the earth, he said there was going to be a period of time there would be a darkness. Why is that? No spiritual light. Religion, false religion had. He said Jesus Christ said that. Yeah. Okay. False religion had started uh, being infiltrated into the congregation. Right. So a lot of a lot of what was referred to as apostasy or things that were not biblically truths had incorporated incorporated itself into the congregation yeah so there's a lot of time th that's why we have so over 5,000 Christian religions today yeah but how many should there be one exactly right see that was the point okay he realized there was too much there was too much indifference this guy didn't believe it. this guy he don't believe this guy something's wrong here right so a Russell and other ones the early Bible students started searching out and this group kept growing and growing and growing. In 1931, they decided, let's call ourselves Jehovah's Witnesses. Why is that? Isaiah 43.10 says, you will be my witnesses. And that's why they adopted that name. Okay, gotcha.
Thank so, you for that. Because some people did refer to them as, oh, you're Russellites or whatever. They, they wanted to attach a person's name to it. That, got you. That's not the point. Okay, got you. He was just instrumentally helping out. Copy that. Okay, that's good to understand. Yeah. Um, so, quick, I just I want to read this real quick. This is an article from the Watchtower. <clears throat> it's called uh, Special Divine Providence. It's, page, it's a part from page uh, 1561 in the Watchtower magazine. It says, uh, even... It's, it's well, from the Watchtower. The, the older bound volumes had long pages because they went... Yeah, I went back. I wanted to learn the foundation of the religion. So that's why I went back to not nothing recent. I wanted to go back to what the original, the, fu the fundamental principles of the Jehovah Witnesses religion was, which mm -hmm. would be from the founders of the religion uh, or the founders of the organization that is known as now Jehovah Witnesses. So that's what I, that's where I'm coming from. So uh, this is uh, the article is special divine providence. And it reads, even the infamous slave trade, which brought thousands of black men from Africa to this favored land, was as viewed in the light of God's overruling providence, a blessing in disguise. So I got to ask you, uh, my brother, because you sound learned in, in, in Jehovah Witnesses. So this is on the Jehovah Witnesses website that the slave trade was a blessing in disguise. This is what the Jehovah Witnesses I'm believe. I'm with that quote. <laughs> I, I mean, well, no, I'm reading it from the watch. No, That's I, I, yeah, but I. I I can't quote every watch since 1886. No, I'm not asking you to, to quote. I'm just asking how you feel about that. Because that's right. from y'all's JW.org. That's on the website. All men are equal. All men are equal. There's no... So y'all believe that all men are equal? Okay. So that's just something I found on the, the Jehovah Witnesses website. I want y'all to go back and look at it. Because, I mean, if I'm seeing it wrong, then I would like to be... I don't know. I've never read that article. If it was from the watch time, it was there. There are adjustments in the made when people learn things. So yeah. that's why you asked what you yeah, I, like I said, this is what I was asking about the foundation of the religion. Like I said, I'm a studious, I'm a young brother. What's your name? William. 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 Yes, ma'am. William. William. Let me say this to yes, William. William. There is absolutely, Jehovah has never uh, approved of the mistreatment of anyone. Uh -huh. Anyone at all. And so when someone is mistreated, whether it's an individual or a race of people, that's something that Jehovah cannot and will not ever support. Okay. And that's why he gives us a hope for the future. Yes, ma'am. That all men can be able to receive the blessings flowing from Jehovah. Yes, ma'am. And we all will be happy. We all will be equal at that particular time. Yes, ma'am. But we're living in a period of time now when things are not equal. Uh-huh. You know? Because um, we realize from the Bible that Satan has control of this wicked world. Yes, ma'am. And people are divided, and people have a lot of um, attitudes and characteristics of Satan on the spirit of the world. And Jehovah said, very soon he's going to do away with all of that. He's going to make all things new, and all of mankind will receive his blessings at that time. So that's the time we're looking for, uh -huh. and that's what we're preaching about. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I thank you for that too, sister. I appreciate you on that. Y'all mind if I read a couple of Bible scriptures? Y'all y'all got time? I just want to bring out just a couple um, of things that I saw in the Bible, and I want to get y'all's interpretation of it. And I'm reading out of the King James Version. Just so y'all know, I'm reading out the King James Version. Because uh, you said something beautiful, sister. You said that Jehovah uh, doesn't... I don't want to misquote you, so correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but pretty much that Jehovah doesn't green light any hate or mistreatment of any people. Jehovah's not the cause of it. Cause of it. Okay, got you. Can you read Romans 9 and verse 13? And again, I want y'all to go, because it's a couple other articles that I found on the website, but that was just kind of... Yes, ma'am. JW.org. Yes, ma'am. And that's what I want to bring out. I didn't want it to seem like I just came up with this. I went to the website. So I went to JW.org and I went to the Watchman and I looked up. The Watchman is pretty much what you go to to figure out Jehovah Witness Doctrine because that's where you can go to find it. You know, go to the JW.org. That's where it is. And I found that article in there that said that. That said that slavery was a blessing in disguise. This was written by the governing body at that time. So that's why I wanted to bring it out and ask y'all how y'all felt about that. But y'all say y'all don't believe in that, which is cool. I'm not saying that y'all yeah, believe. So that's why maybe you should look up the upper article instead of looking way back when things might have changed. Well, it, because as things change or things come to light or differences or understanding, then things do change. Okay, that's and that's, that's true. God's spirit, right? But have you ever heard the saying that you can't know where you're going unless you know where you came from? Yep, I've heard it. You know what I'm saying? So ultimately to understand the, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The uh, destination of where you're going, there's always an origin, a starting point. 
So that was the starting point. So that's why I wanted to go back because anything can change over time. But I wanted to know what the people who started the organization believed in. That that was something I found. Uh, and I just found that very interesting, uh, which because I see that Jehovah's Witnesses is the most diverse religion uh, pretty much out of all Christian uh, denominations. Jehovah's Witnesses are the most diverse. Y'all have the most diversity out of all of them. So that was just interesting that the people that started it believed that. So that was my only point. I just wanted to ask y'all about that because y'all are people that's in it. I'm not in it. Right. So that's why I wanted to come and ask y'all how y'all feel in y'all's uh, statement. I think you made around. an interesting point. As time went on, the, the, the understanding grew as well. Mm -hmm. Kind of give you an example. You can probably go back and then see what we celebrate at Christmas. Uh-huh. And y'all don't do that Christmas anymore. Christmas trees. Mm -hmm. But progressively, the, 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 the light got brighter. Yeah. Let's, let's put it like that. Yeah. So perhaps during that particular time, that was a common idea or something that was widely understood or accepted. Yes, sir. But as Jehovah's people began to pull away, as he was saying, they began to dig and see that, well, no, that's not true. Yes, sir. That's not God's view. Yes, sir. And so progressively, you'll see how we are today. Okay. That's how we got to be what we are today. Yes, sir. So when you look at it, we're internationally. And Absolutely. And we don't use any distinctions. Absolutely. Because we realize that's where our God is. He's impartial. Okay. So you may find some quotes or things in there, but as you look at the modern day application, you'll find that things have progressively changed. Because our understanding has changed too yes, in a lot of areas. Yes, sir. So I think what happens is a lot of times people hold things down that was written back in the 1800s and hold it as something concrete. Mm -hmm. But as Jehovah's people, we, we, we're not like that. We're, our minds are a little bit more open because we realize Jehovah's Spirit flows in that direction. Yes, sir. It is, it's enlightening. Yes, sir. And we're continually learning. Mm -hmm. And so these magazines and this literature right here, it helps people like yourself to have questions in regard to the present as well as the future. And that's what we are sharing, what's getting ready to take place, you see. So I just wanted to kind of throw that in there. Yes, sir, absolutely, I appreciate without, that. Without, without saying that you did see that, yeah, but help you to see how things have progressed. For sure, and I understand that that happens over time. I mean, even in the Bible, you can see certain things being revealed through Christ. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I agree with y'all there. So that's why I just wanted I want to read this real quick, and I want to ask y'all what y'all think about this. Romans 9 and 13. Scoop just a little bit so everybody can hear. Romans 9 and 13. It's the book of Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So, Jacob is a nation of people, which will be known in the Bible as the Israelites. And Esau is a nation of people who will be known as the Idumeans or the Edomites. And God said that he hated Esau. Why was that? Huh? Why was that? Because he just chose to by election. That's what wrong. Can you read Romans 9 and verse 10? He was he, see he refused the birthright. The birthright was more wasn't worth anything to him. Yeah. Yeah. That's part he of forsake it. That. That's part of it. See uh, he didn't have any, he didn't have any kind of a spiritual insight at all that he wanted to. Because uh, he had the ability to to, to to value that. Yeah. But he sold it. Right. For a bowl I of agree. soup. <laughs> yeah, for a bowl of soup. Can you read verse 10? I want to show, because you asked a good question. Why did God hate Esau? It wasn't a reason. The Bible says he didn't have a reason. It was neither, before they were born, he hated Esau. Start uh, verse 10. It's Romans chapter 9 and verse 10. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, uh -huh. even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born. So the children not being born, yet still in the womb. Neither having done any good or evil. Not doing anything considered good or evil. That the purpose of God, according to election, might stand. So according to election, just God's decision from the foundation of the world. Not of works, but of him that calleth. Not of works. So it was nothing that Esau did, and God said what? As it is, as it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. Uh -huh. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So the Bible said it wasn't according to any works. It wasn't any sin. It didn't even have anything to do with him rejecting his birthright. It was just before, from the foundation, according to election, God hated Esau. And that's a race of people, according to the Bible. So how you feel about that, sir? What's your, I mean, what's your, tell us what is your point, what's your explanation? What are you? I got you, sister. That's a good question, right? So... The Bible, what I came to find out when I started studying it, and I started really looking into it, because uh, I used to, well, I still am a Christian, but I used to be like Baptist, non-denominational. Then I kind of pulled back from that because I started asking my pastor certain questions that he didn't have answers for. You understand what I'm saying? So 
I feel the scriptures say that the Holy Spirit will lead you in knowledge of all things and in truth. So I went to go read the Bible for myself because I was once under that uh, thought frame that God loved everybody. And then I started reading the New Testament and I saw scriptures like that written. And I was like, well, how is that possible? So I wanted to go and ask other people, specifically my people, because that's who pretty much I'm concerned with is my people. Why they believe the things that they believe, especially when we say that we all believe in the Bible. Uh, why it's so hard for our people to agree with the Bible. So that's that was my whole point is I wanted to ask different people who believe in the Bible who have doctrines that may not come from the Bible why they believe what they believe. So when I read Romans 9 and 13 where it said that God hated a race of people, that kind of stumped me because all I've ever learned in my whole life is that God was all love and God didn't hate. And which is pretty much saying that he's unbalanced because in order to have love, you gotta have hate. That's balanced. That's having an unjust balance to be all love and no hate. So <clears throat> that was my whole point. Also, I read the Revelation 13 and 9. And this is all New Testament scripture. This is not Old Testament. This is not the old God. This is all New Testament, things that are being written in the New Testament. So this is really what got me. Because a lot of people told me, well, when I read things out of the Old Testament, that's the Old Testament God. And he was evil and he was unjust and he killed other races of people. And then I got to the New Testament, and it was saying the same thing. <clears throat> you got that Revelation 13 and 9? Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So people, the Bible say that people who led other people into captivity are going to go into captivity. And this Revelation, it's the last book of the Bible. Read. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So people that kill other people got to be killed with the sword too. So That's just judgment. You're just reading and interpreting as you see it. What it's saying. Yeah, what the Bible's saying. Absolutely. So that's why I wanted to ask y'all. So, because I have family that's in Jehovah's Witnesses. Did you ever talk with them? Yeah. And they told me to come to the people that be out on the street corners. Because really? they said that y'all are the ones who know what y'all doing because y'all the ones that's out. Because apparently, well, I guess y'all got to. meetings on Sunday where a lot of those kind of things are addressed right yeah, in the public and we talk. All, you know. We all believe the same thing. So it's not. We out here in the street corner don't think any differently than anybody in the hall or your grandmother or anybody else. Okay, so let, let me say, let yes, ma'am, go ahead. Turn. Yes, ma'am. There is no, absolutely no way that any human is going to be able to know every single word in the Bible that is written and give you an immediate explanation. So, what we have come to learn to appreciate it, we see something or somebody brings something to our attention. Then we go and we do research and we pray for the Holy Spirit. To yes, ma'am. Absolutely. In our understanding. So there's no way we're going to sit here and tell you we're going to make an explanation for everything you ask. Yes, ma'am. But you have brought up something to help me to say, hey, look, I'm going to Yes, ma'am. And that's I'm all I wanted to do, that. sister. That's all I I'm wanted to do. That. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I didn't want to come. And I, I hope y'all don't feel like I am, but I didn't want to come and disrespect y'all in any way. That's why I just came with questions. I wanted to provoke thought because these are some of the things that provoke my thought when I read the scriptures. And like I said, this is not even Old Testament. This is New Testament. And not even that, after Christ, the apostles and the disciples are teaching these things. Even Paul said that it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to those that trouble you. And you know, if you ever go, it seems like you go to that website. Uh-huh, uh, I do. Yes, ma'am. Okay, suggestion. Yes, ma'am. Type in that scripture. Okay. In your search bar. Yes, ma'am. And then read those articles that come up and see, what, see, you know, see the explanation. Yes, ma'am. I will do that. Okay. So like I said, I ain't gonna take too much of, okay. uh, too much more of y'all time. I just wanted to come and I wanted to provoke thought. Hey, what's thank your name, you. brother? Spirus. Spirus. It's a pleasure to meet your sister. I thank you, <laughs> you too. for you your too. dialogue. You I appreciate y'all. I do. I honestly do. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. So I just wanted to come and I wanted to provoke thought out of the Bible. Well, it's well, nice meeting you. Yes, ma'am. It's a pleasure to meet y'all. I tell child tomorrow we meet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell him. Tell him. Hey, I met way. William Price on the corner William and that brother Price. know that Bible. He studied that Bible. <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah. And you know what, man? We can appreciate yes. your interest and your love and desire in getting better understanding. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Because basically, that's what we do. Yes, sir. And that's why when my wife mentioned you to go into the search bar, that's going, and you do that now, 
and do it with an open mind. Absolutely. It'll help you to really appreciate what that scripture says and our point of view. Based Absolutely. On that. And Absolutely. don't forget the context. You can't just take one scripture in one chapter right. and understand it without reading the whole thing. No, I read it. I read it. That's, yeah. that's why I, I, I agree with you. Yeah. I, I don't like when people take scriptures out of context. I can take a lot of scriptures. And say what you want to say. Oh, yes, sir. Words. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I went up to verse 10 in that Romans 9 to give the context of what even I was saying in 13. And also in Revelation 13 and 9, that's the start of the context is verse 9. So, again, I agree with you. I'm all about context. Yeah. Yeah. I believe that. That's how the scriptures say to read. Precept upon precept, line upon line. will give you a lot of background, okay. information, a lot of background on that. information and all that. Yes, ma'am. Clear application and all that. I'm going to do the same thing. Yeah. I, and that's, <laughs> sister, hey, that's all I wanted from you, sister. <laughs> what is this? Romans do it. 1? First, it's Romans 9 and 13. Yes, ma'am, I got you. <laughs> Romans 9 and 13. 9 and 13. And then Revelation 13 and 10. Okay. I want y'all to look into those scriptures. And that's all I wanted to do. Yeah. Okay. That's all I, I want to do. You. I want to bring forth my strong reason. That's what the Bible tells us to do in yeah. Isaiah. So that's all I want to do, is yeah. to bring my reasoning to y'all and give y'all what I found in the Bible. Y'all yeah. have a good day. Take care. Yes, sir. Hey, <laughs> I appreciate y'all, and y'all have a wonderful rest of y'all day. Absolutely. Y'all have a good day. Hey, and I thank y'all for the literature, too. Okay. But I want y'all to look into the information. I do. You know I go to the website. I pulled it out. I got receipts. <laughs> Shout hey, out my elders working, trying to get together, making sure we do it better. Free us from this wider pressure. My people catching cases, double life he facing. Scattered all across the world, I see familiar faces. Say we all.